even though it's super cold today, spring officially sprang yesterday, actually last night at 1049. And so you're feeling a little demoralized. I know I am, because once spring is here, I want it to be spring. So one way to combat that is to get some house plants into your house. And so I thought I'd talk about a few of my favorite bloomers this time of year, readily available in the garden center. And so this is Stephanotis. Um, this is used a lot in uh, wedding bouquets because it is gloriously fragrant. And we've got them on these great hoops. Um, they're pretty easy to grow. They like uh, a lot of good sunlight to keep, on the, to keep up with the flowering. Eventually they're gonna settle down. Um, let it dry to the touch between waterings, but you put this in your house and your house will smell so lovely for the next few weeks. Another really easy bloomer is this Phalaenopsis or moth orchid as it's commonly called. They come in all kinds of colors, uh, lots of pinks, beautiful white ones, dark purple, and my favorite are the kind of greeny, yellow, yellowy ones. Phalaenopsis bloom forever. So this one is gonna bloom for, I don't know, six to eight weeks with these flowers. You want it when you get them, you want to watch for ones that have buds or spikes that haven't bloomed out yet. That's how you're going to get the longest bloom for your for your dollar. Phalaenopsis like bright indirect light. They do not like direct sunlight on these paddly kind of leaves. They sort of sunburn and you're going to want to do a good soak once a week. Uh, orchids are air plants technically. And so they are not grown in soil, they're grown in a sort of a bark mulch kind of uh, what we call orchid medium. And so you wanna put this in a sink, water it thoroughly, maybe let it wick some water up, let it drain, and then put it back in a decorative pot. Um, orchids are not a plant that you wanna put into a regular kind of pot. Uh, they're terracotta orchid pots that have lots of extra drainage in them. And then put it in a spot where it's gonna get, say, morning sun and then um, bright light the rest of the day. They also kind of appreciate uh, cooler temperatures, so it's great if you're keeping your house a little bit on the cool side. When it's done flowering, when all the flowers are done, what you're gonna do is you're gonna do a nice little cut right above this node, the node that's directly below the flower spikes. And nine times out of 10, you're gonna get a little side spike that's gonna come off and give you some more bloom time, which is great. This is one of my other favorites, and I have these at home. So this is a hellebore, or Lenten rose is its common name. In Europe, it's called Christmas rose because it blooms in December outside. It's got evergreen foliage, and you can actually plant this outside. Uh, once the ground gets nice. Um, so it blooms very, very early in the season. Mine are just starting to send up their flower spikes now, and it's early March. Um, inside your house, it's going to like bright indirect light. Um, you're gonna wanna keep it, I would say, a watering once a week is probably gonna be fine. You don't want it to dry completely out, it'll wilt. They do like good drainage though, so don't let it sit in water. It won't be happy with that. And then when it's done, cut the flower spikes back, and then when you plant it outside, morning sun tops, no sun in the afternoon. This foliage will stay evergreen uh, through the winter, and then in the early spring, what you'll see is the flower spikes will come up from the side and cut back all of the previous year's leaves, and then it'll send up new leaves after it's flowered. It's, they're a really fun plant. So come on into the garden center. I know it's kind of gloomy out. And right now we're having a house plant sale so you can save 10%, or I'm sorry, 20% on all of our house plants, both greenhouse plants and blooming house plants through the end of the month. So that's through March 31st. So celebrate spring with us here at the Bruce Company with a great house plant and brighten up your home and a little bit of your life. Happy spring from all of us here at the Bruce Company.